Will cloth masks now be germ preservers if they are stored in cold cars? Will surface transmission be more likely with germs kept alive through winter this way? So this question, I think, emerges from the observation um, that uh, people are keeping masks in their cars, you know, and, and never take them out, and in some places actually don't even take them out uh, to wear them. They just live in the car, and then they will put them on if they absolutely have to, if they're if they are required to. Um, which, you know, we we think that um, cold is going to preserve the virus, um, and doesn't this effectively um, create an additional uh, an additional problem in terms of effectively storing the virus for activation? Well, a couple things. One. Um I think we have learned, and somebody took me to task for my use of the term fomite. And in fact, I looked it up to make sure that I didn't have it wrong, and I did have it slightly wrong. The fomite is the surface itself rather than the particle transmitted on the surface. Oh, is that right? Yep. I didn't um, know that. I hope I now have it right. I'm going to look it up while um, you talk but about fomites. In any case, here's the point. I think we know... An that inanimate object or substance that is capable of transmitting infectious organisms from one individual to another. There it is. Yeah. So I think that fomite transfer is not especially common with COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2. Yeah. And therefore, the fact that you will preserve the virus in your car potentially on a mask doesn't increase the tendency to be transmitted by a surface. And therefore, if the tendency wasn't very high, yes, this will increase the duration over which it could happen. But it might, you know, I mean, a, a mask... If you have COVID, then your mask will have COVID, and it could last on there longer, but you're not going to infect you. Mm -hmm. So will somebody else be more likely to be infected because the period of time over which your mask is infectious goes up? Yes, arguably. Not very high, I wouldn't think. The other thing I want to know, though, and this goes sort of into the biology of SARS-CoV-2, but I believe that the nature of the, um, the viral capsule here is um, not that it is membrane based and therefore I wonder whether a freezing might you know freezing below some level would damage it probably not but it could um, and B the other thing about the cars is that you're going to get oscillations. You're going to warm your car up. And it's going to be good and toasty as you're driving around. Then it's going to cool off. Then it's going to warm up. That kind of thing tends to be very hard on mm. uh, something like a microorganism. Yeah, the car isn't just cold unless you're never, ever in it. If you right. ever drive it, you heat it right up. Right. The chances that, mm. you, that somebody could get infected getting in your car after it sat in the driveway for three days is probably higher in the winter. Um, but the warm cool cycles are probably protective if anything yeah that's good i hadn't hadn't occurred to me i think that's right